taking apart Graffiti Airport base station. First, take off the power cable and network cable and modem if you have one installed. Flip the airport over, you see three screws, one here, one on each hole. Open the screws with a screwdriver of your choice, the Phillips screws. Alright, take the lower half off. Put your screws on the lower half. It looks a lot, lot like a bowl or something like that. Alright, here we have the assembly and IO shields. First, let's take the modem cable off. It's the Graphite Airport Base Station, it's the first model. So it has a modem. Yeah, modem cable off. Again, there's two screws or more screws. This one has two. Probably had three. No. Put these also in, in safe place. I used lower cover. Right. Raise it off, take off the power cable and Ethernet cable from the shield unit. You can put this thing away since we're not much interested in, it, in this. It only has Ethernet port, power port and modem port. There are only ports that are replicated in the unit's cover. Alright, now we have this unit here. First, take off the wireless network card. Just pull, pull it out. Just like normal PC MCI cards or PC cards. Alright, now we need to take these clips off. You can do it by thumb, but I like to use a little screwdriver in this. Little flathead screwdriver. Makes a job a lot easier. Put them in safe place. Don't you dare to lose them. Because Assembly would be a lot more difficult if you lose them. Alright, remove the cover. I don't know what the hell it is, but I guess it has some purpose. Alright, here we have the circuit board. Only thing that's actually left to take apart is the modem assembly. As you can see, it's connected to the main board. The modem is connected to the main board with a ZIF connector, zero insertion force. Again, there's two Phillips screw screws here. I'll remember to give support when you're pressing with the screwdriver from the other side. There's a screw, same kind of screw, on the other side also. Alright. Here we have the modem. Off goes the plastic cover. And here's the modem. It's a 56K modem V90. Apple modem. Yeah.
Here are all the main main parts. This was fast, disassembly, and fast and easy disassembly, and yes, I'd say it is very easy to put together and fast. It won't take too much longer. Only a little. Yep. Something about modem. Uh, it's actually the very same modem that can be found from all Power Max and IMAX of its time. Uh, it's around probably the oldest version of this modem it is from 1998 but pre pretty much from every single Power Mac and iMac that's made between years 1999 and 2001 it can be found from any, every single one of them it's probably very interchangeable since at least the connectors look like they would be the same and they are same sized. I have no real knowledge about it, but I guess they are completely compatible. And about Swaveland, it actually works in OS 10 at least, and probably OS 9 also, uh, as an airport card. As normal airport card. I tried it on my Power Mac G4 and it worked fine. Except that I couldn't put the case back together since this thing, this black antenna thing, is on the way. Grinning anywhere? No. There you have it. Here you go, it's booting. Enjoy! Yeah. UFO!